Hey guys, it's Friday. I'm vlogging on my bed just because I can, and my cat's here with me. So, guest star. You're a guest star, Misty. You are my sweetest downfall. For those of you who don't know, March is anti-bullying month. While it should actually be that every single month and every single week and every single day should but be anti-bullying focused it's not, for now, March is just the only one who's against bullying. I wrote down the definition of bullying. So, bullying is defined as noisily domineering and the act of intimidating a weaker person. And a bully is a cruel and brutal fellow. <laughs> and to bully is to be bossy or discourage and frighten with threats or a domineering manner. You can also apparently do a bully job at something like, you did a bully job at catching that mouse today, Misty. Actually, that's a lie. Misty is scared of mice. <laughs> Aren't you, baby? Bullying isn't necessarily restricted to what we define it as. Bullying can mean like many things. Like if you are feeling put down, belittled, undermined by someone, then you are being bullied. If you cause someone to lose privileges or you get them in trouble for something and it wasn't completely warranted and then they feel very bad about it, you are a bully. There are always outliers to this, of course. There's always the circumstance where someone completely deserved to get in trouble or they completely deserved to lose their privileges because they never deserved them in the first place. Or maybe they didn't because you don't know their background. You don't know how they came to want what you just took away from them. You don't know what drives that person. <laughs> it's really sad how people just can't be more mature and think about how their actions influence others' feelings. Studies show that more often than not, the bully is not one who is trying to make up for a lack of confidence who they feel bad about themselves, so they try to put others down. That actually doesn't happen that often. What happens more often is the bully feels overconfident about themselves, and they feel so much better than others that they just put them down because they're like, you know what? I'm better than you. It's really said that that happens, but that actually makes a lot more sense to me than simply a bully being someone who's like, I feel bad about myself, so I'm gonna make you feel terrible and ruin every single day of your life. So in honor of anti-bullying month, next week is confidence week at our school. So what you do for confidence week is basically saying that I am a beautiful person the way I am. So you wear jeans and a white t-shirt every single day of the week if you can, and wear minimal to no makeup and do minimal to no hairstyling. I wear minimal to no makeup and minimal to no hairstyling anyway, so I am definitely going to participate. Unfortunately, next week I will be in New York competing for virtual business, which I still don't think I've explained to you guys. So I expect all of you to try to participate in Competence Week, or if you don't have a large selection of white t-shirts, at least think, I feel good about myself. So Claire, I'll see you on Monday.